Mike wasn't my real dad. He was the only dad we've ever known. He was special. He was always there for me and my brother. Until you killed him. I didn't kill him. Well, not technically, but you bought him that balloon trip. I didn't know that he'd crash. To be fair, it's just like my dad to crash into a safari park on his 50th birthday. He was always up to stuff like that. Where are we going to scare him? But we should do it somewhere beautiful, peaceful, somewhere he loved. Blackpool? Yeah. Then we can go find Malik. Whoa, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you must have been a beautiful baby. You must have been a beautiful child. Cool, blimey. Right, okay then. Uh, Jason Wingard, if you'd like to. Should bring up our cats. Please do, please do. Everyone, bob them down. Oh, no. No! Oh, <laughs> You're on Matt Damon for the night. <laughs> so this is Miroslav and Carol from the first film, The, the Born... I can't even say it, I should have called it Pensioners. <laughs> Born Pensioners. Yeah, The Born. Born. Yeah. Excellent. I love Paul Greengrass as well. I absolutely love Paul Greengrass. So it's brilliant. Um, where did you get the idea to parody The Born franchise? <laughs> From here, actually, because I kept coming to Kino and seeing so many guns in Manchester and Bolton, <laughs> and I thought it would be quite funny. Because obviously, he's, you know, it's Manchester, I thought it would be quite funny to have uh, old people fighting and <laughs> do a little spoof of it. Yeah. Um, and so we wrote, uh, sorry, I mean, young actors that did we then made look old in post. Is that right? That's what I meant to say. Thank you, Jess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So we wrote a script a, a while ago, actually, for the BBC, and uh, they commissioned it, but at the last minute they pulled the funding, so I had that script for about a year and a half or something like that. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and then we decided to make it yeah. over Christmas. We just said, oh, should we make a film? And I said, I've got this script with me, so then we cast it and we made it. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Okay, um, so cast, thank you. Um, how was the experience of being part of board such a generium for you guys. Absolutely grateful. We both enjoyed it very much, didn't we? Uh, give me a microphone, the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to uh, just say two or three words. And, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> can I? Can I? Yeah, all right. <clears throat> what are you talking about? Whether we enjoyed it or not. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes, we uh, really enjoy uh, made this film. If I am a killer, a serious killer, <laughs> and you laugh, something wrong. <laughs> so <clears throat> it was great experience working with uh, Jason and uh, some uh, incredible people there also. Uh, I, I mean, uh, David Ross. Yeah, this is uh, co-directed as well. Sorry, that you know. Uh, so myself and Gino, who I often co-direct with. Um, numerous shorts, so we co-directed this. Brilliant experience, and uh, uh, they are really serious filmmakers. Very serious. Too serious for me, so <laughs> uh, absolutely great experience. Okay. He's like Charles Bronson, isn't he? From, uh, <laughs> well, we should just redo the Death Wish movies. <laughs> I can't play Romeo in my time. Just, just uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's so physical, that thing. It must be fun for you, well, for you guys. I hope it was fun for you to do. Hard work, though. It was really hard work, yes, but um, yeah. thoroughly enjoyed it. I, um, especially the fight scene in the hangs, that was, that was great. Um, you, won't you won't believe you know the bit we had to do on, on the ceiling. Well, I had to get down to 12 inches in height, crouching down to 12 inches, that took some doing. And someone counted it down from 10, 9, 8, right down to 1, trying to kill me while I was in that position. And that was on a slippery uh, sideboard, you know, yeah. with, with green uh, cloth behind, so that was really, really hard. And one person co uh, complained about me biting his wrist and leaving teeth marks on his wrist. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, my God! She did, really. Well, actually, uh, I didn't mean to, honestly. It was only acting. Oh, yes, yes, I, I forgot that. Oh, it was incredible. I am not actor. Because she bites me very well, you know, I need a uh, press person. 
there is there's lots of people who came and helped us on that film actually and a lot of Kino regulars there. Chris Cronin came and helped us shoot it. Um, yeah. and give us gave us advice because Chris shoots a lot of those kind of action sequence things, you know. And we would spoof it. So, you know, but he's a good guy and he's a lot of good fun. And actually that's the good thing about the community of filmmakers in Manchester, there's lots of people who help each other out, so I just want to say that. So thank you to all the people that have done. This one is, uh, to modesty you now, he is an incredible filmmaker, really, because uh, I made film, my own film, you know, and I said to my cameraman, uh, follow me. And we did film. A few hours I finished. My God. Jason. That was a year, wasn't it? No. Wow. <laughs> I'm, on the, I'm on the floor after I jumped through the window. And... Uh, they take so many different angles uh, to, uh, with camera. It was uh, 10 minutes I'm on the floor, on the rain. And uh, it sounds fun. so many things at my age and everything, you know. That's it. Yeah, no. Well, thank you for doing it. You did a great job, both of you. So thank you. Well, we thoroughly enjoyed it. But we have an incredible time uh, in uh, Ashton when we uh, made this uh, kind of. Uh, I tried to kill her. In the market. I just try, you know, kill somebody, but I never kill all, all always somebody killed me in that. <laughs> yeah, we didn't, we didn't have the correct clearances for Ash to shoot with guns there in the market. <laughs> but we bamboozled no, them for long enough <laughs> to get the thing and get out. Um, but yeah, it was good. Cool, thank you. Um, are there any comments and questions? So, what was the reaction of the because I know Ashton very well, what was the reaction of these two people shooting each other in electric wheelchairs? The public are all right. We, we, we told all the people on the market. It's the most interesting it's ever been in Ashton, no? <laughs> well, yeah, you've got to be careful, aren't you, because it is where Dale Krieg and Fish were. Oh, no, so, yeah. you know, um, yeah. so um, when the market, the people of the markets came out and were asking for our clearances and forms, and, and we kind of, we knew what to say to just put them off for an hour while we got it. <laughs> so uh, beware, coming to another market near you, we're going <laughs> to do our guerrilla filming. Yeah. Try hide. Yeah. So. Can, can I uh, answer? It was incredible experience in the National and Green Market, and we uh, tried to kill each other, you know. And I was theatrical because my background is from theatre, you know, and I was screaming. <laughs> can I say that? Yeah, yes. you're not on TV, you can yeah. say <laughs> <laughs> I was screaming, you know, with uh, and, uh, experience. Uh, I, I uh, learned to, uh, learn to uh, driving this incredible, nice <laughs> little car, electric car. So <laughs> it was an incredible experience, and I was screaming that I am thirsty of your blood! <laughs> yeah, people around you. Yeah, they are. That, look, that's the best thing, is it? Have, when people in Manchester are so dry, they're just going, wank cock. Was it It was incredible time, But it's good, it's good. Yeah. I just like this kind of uh, activity. Yeah. No, it was good fun. Sorry, you had a question. Just, just wondered how long did it take to shoot? Um, we shot it on January... Seven to nine, nine, three days, and then we cut it in twelve days. So it was a quick turnaround. It was. We, it's made for the the Reed Film Competition, so we're targeting a film competition. Right? <coughs> so. From morning until uh, uh, evening. Yeah, yes. long days, long days. I was very ill as well. I think. Yeah, very ill. Yeah. So. Yeah. Never a Wow. Okay. Yeah, but that was the benefit of having a co-director. By the end of the last day, I just collapsed. And, uh, yeah. Wow. Okay, thank you. So, from one competition to another, um, so yeah. the result of your Virgin Media win. Woo! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Congrats again. That's all right. Um, yeah. So, what a beautiful film. Wonderful. Um, just tell us about it. Um, going to Mecca. The going, it took me a while to make the, the short. I did a, a year's worth of work pilots for the BBC and that put it back and then we went into eye features with this as a feature pitch um, in the meantime
time I was pitching two other shorts for to make with the, the money. Um, but Chris Collins, who's the head of the BFI, had said he liked the going to meta pitch that we put into eye features, which we didn't get through with. Um, so he said, why don't you make a short of that and we'll look at it as a precursor to a feature film. Um, so I, I listened. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and put it in. So that's the, that's the, the short. And the feature pitch has just gone in the development money to write the script for the feature. Wow. Hopefully, you know. 